yet. One not more yet. One okay, more this is close guy we're talking about. Yeah. Even all the crouch cancel he's getting is so much good oh. percent every little interaction. He just drills oh, it. Is that it? Oh my it. god, 76% and Cody! I'm an EW! Oh, the Take the 3 oh, 1. Yeah, actually, for oh, oh, what a sneaky up there! There it is! He's gonna get the chain grab! Here we go! Throw. This is what What's he oh, gonna throw. get here? Up okay. smash! Oh, Thunder! 85! Oh, He's off stage! And he wins Smash Summit! Is your Smash Summit 8 champion! Hello and welcome everyone to Esports in 30. I'm Marissa Roberto filling in for Mr. Brody Mark because he left us a Rocket League Classic. And this is the FGC Wednesday, so Drew Face is here, and we've got Matt. Hempstead on the couch. Um, Matthew, are Hi. you like low key super into FGC or what? Uh, well, mostly Smash, and Smash okay. is not FGC, of course, right, Drew? It, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> it it is. is. I've been watching uh, Melee, especially for a while, so I'm kind of in yeah. tune with the scene. So, yeah, I'm too excited to talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to have you here, my bros. My bros on the couch this weekend was so freaking hype, and we're going to dive into that for sure because Melee is amazing. But we're going to get right into Smash 8 Summit because no one expected the end result. So, let's find out what went down in the world of Smash with these highlights. Best of five, so we got a lot of it. I beat him. Oh, that's a good combo. Way time up there, definitely. Oh my god, he be doing work! <laughs> <laughs> Dunks, what did you teach him? He's unstoppable! Yeah. Oh, he's gonna up the at him. He yeah, tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he tech need! Oh, he tech oh, oh, need! Oh, oh, he's in his face. Oh, Corner pressure situation. And this one. Okay. Oh, tech! Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> All right, man. The Yoshi's ledges are weird, and it's like harder to do the uppy sweet spot. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> Two tail spikes. Yeah. Three that stocks was, to one. Wasn't even a combo. He just like read him a few times off the edge. Yeah. Mango definitely turned back with a lot of aerials. Oh, oh my oh, God! Oh, he bumped his head on oh, FOT. <laughs> I think you get like a quick zero death here. Yeah. Trying to get something started. Oh, double shot. Oh, that was yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. 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 so smart. Yes. Yes. It was hard to make Gotta it. Gotta get out of the corner, though. Oh, 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 he's oh, 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 dead. Oh, 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 he's dead. Oh, he's dead. That's it. I did the double. Cut that up there again, but this is fine. Rapid jabs. The rapid jab is side beat. Ooh, he just comes out with back air. Back air got the grab. That's it. That's it. That's it. Not yet. Not yet. Hey, yet. One not more stock. yet. One more hey, stock. This is close job we're talking about. Yeah. Even all the crouch cancel he's getting is so much good oh, percent. Shit. Every little interaction. He just drills. Oh, is that it? Oh my it. god! 76% oh, exploding! I'm an EW! Oh, what the hell? Take the 3 1! Tech chase again? Knee? A late knee, night knee. Great angle. Oh, oh is he dead god. here? He missed the dash. Oh, they're nervous. This is some crazy god. melee! Oh, Wizzy! Oh, and Wizzy oh. takes it 3 1. You can shoot my beast ball, but yeah. Next is right. Forward throw? Forward throw. Oh, oh my god! Again. Oh my god! That was so good off the forward throw! Yeah. That has to be nerve wracking. Yes! <laughs> that has to be nerve wracking. Actually, just going for raw grabs right now. He knows this. Oh! That might be it. Oh! oh. He got the grab. grab. He's gonna go. There. Okay, off stage. Yeah. Okay, go for yeah. it. Got it! An Axe is in grand finals! Axe is in grand finals! No coming. No coming. <laughs> I was for it's a foul! Oh, I was wait. waiting for oh, that. Oh, oh my god, he's oh, just dead! Oh, he's oh. just dead! They're trying to read the spot up there. Up up in air. <laughs> yeah, he really wait, is! Uh, oh, oh, and that's it! Stop wait, not, not it! Not yet, not yet. Randall? That's Boom. it. Yo. With rope! That was a clean finish! Oh my gosh. The next grab, Neil will do it, but can you get it? Oh! Oh my yeah. god, he's off stage. stage. Back airs. Oh Try to do the get up his ass. Down throw knee, not, not gonna be able to do it. Down throw knee. Nice. Wizzy has reset the bracket. Oh, oh, what a kill fight. That's it. That was insane. Good tech. Good tech. Good tech. Ready. He was stupid ready. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, oh never my mind. god. Wizzy is not going to take that much time. There. Yeah, actually looking for a grab. Oh, what a sneaky up there! There it is! He's gonna get the chain grab! Here we go! Throw. This is why What's he gonna throw. get here? Up okay. smash! Thunder! 85! Oh, He's on stage! Axe! Axe! 
is it your in. Smash Summit 8 champion. X did it. He's done it. A Pikachu has won a major Smash Summit 8. Yes, that's right. For the first time ever, a Pikachu has won a Melee Major. We're just so happy of Axe, and we're so proud of him for this victory. It's just such a huge stage at Smash Summit 8. So, you guys, first of all, this weekend itself was super hype. As we can yes. see, Matt is rocking our Raptors Championship. Mm, <laughs> I mean, so and, baby. You know, I know, just the, whole, just the whole weekend itself was absolutely insane. But we want to dive, obviously, into Melee here because that's what the show is all about. So, <laughs> gentlemen, let's just talk about Axe here because he's been so close all year to winning. What was it? What was this moment for him? And, like, how did he actually get there? How did he make it happen? Please, Drew. Look, his Pikachu has been grinding so long for so hard. He's the best Pikachu in the world. I'm so glad he managed to get a good bracket to get here because all those crazy hungry boxes are gone. Those dirty <laughs> puff maze are over. It's over, baby. We Pikachu all day. We Pikachu all day. That's right. I can't, I'm not a, I can't get as hype as Drew, but I'm still pretty excited about it. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's a new Pokemon kind of in the town right now. Obviously, this is Axe's first major. It's been such a long time coming for this guy, and he's the most wholesome person in the scene. So, you know, when he won, it's just like everyone stopped what they were doing. Everyone was in the main room clapping for him. It's just insane to see a Pikachu win, especially with the way Melee has been in like the past couple weeks. The way he popped off too was insane because yeah. he just stood up and looked like Ash Catcher when Pikachu was trying to go away for a minute. Like he was, oh, I got teary eyed about that one, dude. The hat came down, you know. The hat came down and like you saw the tears come down. Like, no, Pikachu's not leaving. You only know how to pay Pikachu. They're not gonna nerf him. The game's old. No, there's just something about him. There's something about Axe's vibe just in general because he really is that like sweet, wholesome Arizona boy. Like he's just such a great representation of what the scene is, right? Like, oh, yeah, and the fact. Sure. He remained a Pikachu and stayed true to Pikachu this whole time when he could have switched. He could have gone another way this whole time, but he did not. That's he right. stayed true. For you know? so many years. Yeah, yeah he, he's the real Luke Skywalker. Not he, that Last Jedi stuff. He's a real Luke Skywalker, <laughs> for real. Yo, I love the Star Wars <laughs> comparison. Okay, we need to That's talk it. about that epic grand finals. Wizrobe yes. reset the bracket, but then Axe won. The next set, 3 1. So, what adjustments did you guys see actually from Axe that allowed him to get the better hand of Wizzy? So, Axe beat Wizzy earlier in the tournament mm. uh, to move on in the bracket. And then the grand finals, you know, he dropped the first set, 3 1, and it's like, oh no. It, this is happening. Axe is going to lose and it's going to be devastating for him because he was so close. The winner side of Grand Finals. But then it, he just turns it on. It seemed like in, maybe he was playing a little too safe in, in the first half because, you know, he had that extra bracket and he was just kind of um, sitting back while Wizzy was climbing up through losers. Mm. But then in that second set, he was hitting some insane combos, um, especially with the, his up air, just the way it was always pushing people in the perfect direction and yeah. then setting it up for the kill. It was wild to see some of the things he was doing. But how, how do you feel about he's always. The one thing I noticed in this term that he chose uh, FD yeah, always yeah, yeah. last set. And whenever he did, he just chain grabbed everybody, then killed them. It was great. I thought it was a really good tactical adaptability on his end. Yeah, I mean, FD's pretty disgusting for Pikachu because once you get a grab, it's, it's chain grab, chain grab, chain grab, chain grab, until they're off the side, and then you give them a little tail whip and finish them off on the corner. So it's just, it, it's so good for Pikachu, especially with other, you know, matchups. That's that's where Pikachu thrives. I know Axe also likes FOD, mm. but FD is just generally better percentage for, for Pikachu. Absolutely. Uh, guys, I just, I'm still trying to reel off of this guy's, like, high, like, the win that he had in yeah. his moment, and, like, just beating all those that came before him as well. Um, I do want to talk about this because, obviously, he won his first major. Wizrobe won Smash in Splash, and now he finished second at Summit because Axe put him there. So what makes Wizzy such a tough opponent, and what was what led to his eventual rise? I mean, like, you and I always discuss this, right? The meta is kind of shifting mm -hmm. towards uh, movement and a lot more pace and space yeah. and Captain Falcon's kind of really strong at doing that especially with that awesome knee that does like 30 percent <laughs> and could KO you yeah. out of nowhere like that's a uh, that's something that we're we're starting to see and Wizrobe is starting to peak as a player himself he's only 21 and he's he's not just good at melee he's good at multiple smash games yeah. Yeah. like all the platform fighters is him like he's just killing it today I don't know how do you feel man I mean at Smash and Splash like you said he, he finished top eight in ultimate too so this guy's been grinding every game he, he know he's known for his ball he plays everything yeah. so um, but with this Falcon, he's not like your normal, typical, like, non S2J style where they kind of go for some crazy things. Wizzy's disgusting with what he does, but he's more patient and he looks for an opening and then once he finds it, 
uh, he just capitalizes. And again, it's, it's those knees. It's the, the chain stomps into knee. It's everything, right? Um, so huge props to him. His his move up the ladder has been insane. And he's like yeah. taking down Hungry Box consistently. Yep. He's beating crazy, Leffen yeah. consistently. It's a new world. But you said it's the patience thing then. Because how else could anybody really take out Hungry Box? It's got to be patience. Well, I mean, there, you can you can take it a couple ways. It's mm -hmm. H-Box on decline. Is he caught up with other stuff? I know on Twitter he was kind of saying uh, he's got an announcement coming that's made him play less and understand the middle less. Mm -hmm. And I know he also said like the matchup against Wizzy, He's never under, uh, been so lost in a matchup before, which is pretty wild considering HBox has just been grinding this game forever. And Falcon's not really a new character, no. but I guess Wizzy has some new text up his sleeve, some new movement, oh. and he's just taking him by surprise. Okay, now I want to know what this announcement's going to be. Like, Stay tuned to his Twitter, I guess. Yo, he's retiring. Thing? Maybe he's. He's maybe starting he's a singing business. Dad. He's going into to singing. Yeah. He's going into like just like straight up karaoke. He's gonna okey. Well, in that in that summit skit, he was popping off. It was nuts. It was it was a, some good karaoke. <laughs> That's right. Okay, all right. I mean, stay tuned for that. Let's watch his Twitter. I'm sure we'll have it and unmute it as well. So not only did Axe win summit, he also turned on his stream after he got hit with a wave of subscribers. So what does it say about Axe as a person, like just in the melee community, the fact that he got five freaking K subs on Twitch? He's a good guy. Like he's yeah. a really nice guy. Like he even I I, w I was at Gombo and I was at the VIP room and he was actually one of the that few. A, that was a low key brag, but okay. Uh, yeah, but like <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely low key brag. But like <laughs> he was he he and Rod were the only people that said hi to me besides oh, the people in Toronto and he was just so true. yeah and, and like I don't think he remembers that but it's okay. Drew, like, what were you wearing that day? I was I was just wearing all like I was just wearing like a really long cardigan. Okay. And all like a white a white button up, and I was uh -huh. just swagging out all day with nice shorts. When are you not swagging out all day? Uh, is at the home? real question. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, is not, <laughs> this is not an all day one hundred. In the sweats, yeah. I like it. And the sweats, yeah, yeah comfy yeah. sweats. Uh, fitted. But he but like the, the, but yeah. I don't understand like why he didn't have that many subs in the first place. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. He's, He's so been... good. He should have that audience. I mean, he has a pretty consistent audience. He's usually between like 500,000 viewers. Okay. His sub count is usually uh, floating between 700 to 1,000. Okay. And I mean, especially now with when he's doing like Mango Axe Wednesdays, mm -hmm. uh, doing randoms against PPU, his audience is growing. And I mean, maybe some people weren't aware of the content he has. And then yeah. as soon as he wins Summit, and you know, everyone loves the guy no matter what. Yeah. And then he turns on his stream. He's crying on stream with yeah. like his coach and stuff behind him. Yeah. It's a super emotional moment. And people were just gifting subs in like the 50s oh. to 100s. And it's, it's not only like a sign of how good a guy Axe is, but also mm -hmm. the melee community gets behind their people. Oh, 100, yeah. And especially well, someone like Axe who finally won his first major, it's huge. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Well, of course, well if they win, you, you have to win to get that kind of yeah. love from the people, right? They still want to crown their king. Yeah. And they really did that in spades. Axe was the star of another amazing Smash Summit skit. So what did you guys think of his acting in impressive <laughs> Pikachu and the cameo by <laughs> Baby Mango? Honestly, he did better than Jacice Winslow. Oh. So I was like... I was I was not I was not happy like I was not happy with that movie, but so I I would love to see a Detective Pikachu recast it. Yo, straight shots, up shots, shots, shots recast it with Temple X. Yeah, with Temple X. Make it happen, Nintendo. I mean, I thought I personally thought it was super cute, yeah. like so well done, well executed, and it's just like a perfect hey, like this is a perfect match for him, and he's in his little Pikachu hat and everything. And Baby Mango, how cute! It's, yeah, it's so much better when Baby Mango comes in yeah. and stops swearing like Mango does. Yeah. Here it's like. This is going to be Mango's child, 100%. 100%. With, with Mango as an influence, yeah. oh boy. Oh my, oh god, my he's god. so cute too, with his little cleft chin <laughs> and his little, like, his little Pikachu kit that didn't quite fit. Yeah, it's the most wholesome <laughs> skit I've seen Summer do. Yeah. Uh, I love it. We need more of that for sure. But as a side event, we got to see IRL action of Mango Axe Wednesdays. You guys were just mentioning yeah. that. So unfortunately, Axe ended up losing the Iron Man, and then Mango danced on him. So how painful do you think it is to actually lose oh to God, Mango? Oh, God, true. Like, I always hate losing, and losing to a guy <laughs> that knows he won is kind of like, it's kind of mad annoying. Like, I would hate that, but at the same time, it's Mango, and you, you kind of get used to it. Yeah. And you're kind of like, oh, this is Mango. Angle. This is who he is, you know. Oh, so. okay. Like, so you just have to accept it. It's one thing to to lose to Mango, but uh, I mean, Mango put on the music, <laughs> put on the little Spanish beats, and did some nice dancing around Axe. While Axe just uh, sat there and took it, he could have left. So to a degree, Axe low key liked it. Um, but I mean, from now on, every time they do Mango Axe Wednesdays, yeah. even if a or Mango loses, he's always got the summit brag. I beat you live at Summit in land. Yep. So no matter what. You can always pull the online card now. Yep. I love it. That's the card he pulls out. That's right. Yeah, you always can, an excuse. You can always lose like 100, 100 straight, but that one win, Ugh. it's over. Right. I hold it for you for life. Just like the Raptors. Ah, I'm going to pull that card out whenever <laughs> possible, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, oh, just absolutely. look at Matt's hat. Look at Matt's hat. Okay, mm -hmm. we're in a brand new era of Melee. In the top four of Smash Summit, there was Wizrope, Leffen, and IBDW, and Axe. Axe. And Axe.
So how have we gotten to the point where everyone can just win an event? It's, a, it's an insane world, especially, I mean, the main thing, IB, IBDW, it's like, where on earth did this guy come from? I be doing work, baby. He came from <laughs> Call of Duty, and he came from New York. I don't know where he came from, but, like, top 30 players somehow managed to beat, like, top 10 players, top 5 players in, in the ranking boards. Like, yeah. he just, just, these kids, man, they're so young. Yeah. Their hands are so fresh. They're, they're not destroyed. What the? They're not destroyed by the pad. The GameCube well, controller the game destroys you. Controller, Marissa. Yeah. I don't know what you're the GameCube no, no, controller I... destroys your hand. <laughs> Carpal tunnel's a real thing. <laughs> Wait, Marissa. I know, but there's so many Seinfeld references in there. Like, they're not master of their domain. You feel? You, you should feel. see some of these older players' hands. They're just mangled and, you know, they need to take breaks because it's, it's, it's rough. Yeah. I, listen, it's tough I get it. Like, my age is also catching up to me. And I'm scared of the arthritis. How are your hands? Have you been I, grinding well, melee or what? I don't use my hands as often as, you know, maybe the boys do. So, like, I don't, you know, I'm trying to keep them fresh and on the pop-in. She knows how to wave dash. Yeah. I don't know how to wave dash. I only know how to down B. Stop lying to us. These analogies I, are killer. I only yeah. really know how to down B. We know this. Okay, listen. Hungry Box <laughs> disappointed in Summit after he was dropped by Leffen. And IBDW, a fifth place finish is not what was expected from Hung Hungry Box, obviously. So what's going on with Mr. Jigglypuff? Jiggly, besides, I guess, his pending announcement. Right. So, I mean, when you're on top, yeah. People are going to be like, okay, how do we beat the guy on top? Otherwise, we're just going to get kicked out of the bracket yeah. every time, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're looking at Jigglypuff, a unique matchup. Not everyone knows it. So you're just going to go grind that matchup and try to learn what he does. You're going to yeah. study HBox clips more than other people's clips. Even if you you know, you know, have lesser guys early in the bracket. If you don't beat Jigglypuff, you're not going to win a tournament. Mm. Right? So part of that is that. And then he has to try to adapt and learn all these other matchups. Pikachu, Captain Falcon, whatever. Mm. And I mean, he got dropped by two foxes. Which is kind of how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I mean, like, Fox is known for killing you at, like, really early percentages. And, like, his movement outpaces Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff's just a little round marshmallow. He can't <laughs> move like that. He can't move like that. I'm a round marshmallow too, but I can't move that fast. You know what I'm saying? Fox, Wait, you, you can't float? I can't. Oh. Just believe. <laughs> and again, this is the whole meme too of like, you know, Puff dies early. Yeah, and to oh, a degree, yeah. it's like. It's true. It's, it, it, to, at a point, it's true, right? Because yeah. Fox can kill with up throw, up air. 40%. Falcon easy. can kill with a, a knee, whether it's even even pretty low percent. Yeah, like it's 30%, disgusting. 20%. Yeah. One knee, right you're done. Yeah. Like, you're done. So Glass zones tough. are not your friend. No mistakes from Puff for you. You're mm -hmm. dying early. Uh, okay, feels, gentlemen. Listen, uh, while Axe was stealing the show this past weekend, there was still a pretty high tech tourney happening in Poland. So let's check out the highlights from Fighting Games Challenge. Going into the offense, Electrix. Oh, oh God! The timing! The timing! And he can get it! Is he gonna get jump cut? No! Oh, oh, my God. God. One more round! One more round for Jose! Could be anyone's game. This is the final round. A lot of the down, there we go. Let's take it in face. Oh, oh no, no, right. on the no, no, plus two drill. No, no, broken. Oh, no. Gotta be careful now. Don't take oh, it. What? If... Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. God. He got oh, it. Oh, my God. He got it. Bang is running up. All the London heads are running oh. up. The I said, actually took it. Hey, hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was it. That was it. Hey, clip that. Someone clip that. See that one. Again, two bars. This is dangerous now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. This might be an exit now. What a clean victory for Super Kuma 3 0. Let's see if we find a way to get in. Oh, and only Jack and Sosa are on the low parry. This could be it, guys. Hey, hey. Hey. Ah, there it is. The it's man. It's the way into the show. All right, so Naroma moves on into grand finals against Kakoma. Short enough to get a complete. Oh, oh, there we go. Bro, hey. that is the first hey. game hey. I've seen today. And look at that, man. Just like that, man. Yes. A clean 3 0 victory, man. And Changing up his pace. Be aggressive. Oh, the crate. And oh, there we go. Is that there we go. No. Ladies and lads, we Ladies have a reset have a bracket. Reset. What go ahead. This looks good for Koma. No, come on, don't drop it now. No. Okay. They just got. Don't drop it now. Okay, long play. Nah, oh, I'm going to see a final, final round. Oh, no. Oh, no. So far away. Ten seconds left. Oh, no. He pops up. Oh, 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 Ten very Teddy Berry Maker runs up soon and gives him a hug. What a final round. Oh, is your fighting oh, game challenge champion. Kakoma is the champion of the fighting games challenge, and he did so in dominant fashion. Drew. 
talk to me about Kokoma. Look, Kokoma is a cheap dude. He's cheap. He's cheap. He plays <laughs> geese. He plays geese. That character does way too much damage. And he plays Kazumi. That's a fast character, dude. <laughs> that character can just interrupt all his strings. You know what he did? No. 3 1 against the best player in Japan, Noroma. Right? And guess how he did it, though? Noroma, Noroma kind of reset the bracket there. All right? And then he was like, you know what? I'm going to just pick my real character, Kazumi. And then he came in with Kazumi, sending out tigers and stuff, interrupting all those strings and movement. And that's what he did. That's how he bodied him 3 1. And all of a sudden, the hometown hero, Gosain's like, all right, I got this crazy law that's bodying everybody, uh -huh. like Cherry Berry Mango and Super Kuma. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this, right? The UK know. hero came in and was like, how will I beat this great god, Kokoma? Yeah. And Kokoma was like, nah, my geese is godlike. Mm -hmm. Bodied him too. Every time he made a mistake, 45% health gone, out of the way. That's At good. least that's what it felt like when I was watching it. Yeah. But yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's for good. That's not sure. cool, man. No. Yeah. Okay, we gotta move on. Okay? Because the real hype from this event came by the hands of the UK player Gosain. Every time he took a set, the crowd popped off to support him. So, where the F did this guy come from, Drew? You know what? Like, I, I remember talking on this show. All my EU homies do yeah. not get any of the spotlight That's at true. all. They don't get any spotlight. And these yeah. guys are amazing, mm -hmm. right? These guys are crazy good. Yeah. Go say it's from the UK, and the UK is considered, and for sure it's cemented mm. itself, as the greatest region in Europe for Tekken. Mm. Right? And Gosain just, he just grinds with the great players there. Like, there's Ryan Hart, mm. there's, uh, well, the obviously Gosain, there's, there's Spag there too. Just great talent, great community people in the UK. Yeah. So Gosain just comes in here with his Bruce Lee imitation law, yeah, just yeah. biting the whole people. Yeah, yeah. And, and nobody can see it coming except for the UK boys. Because why? No one gives them the spotlight. But we are giving them a spotlight on this show. The UK boys are rocking it. Shout out to Arsenal, baby. Yeah, shout out to all our UK boys. Oh, we gotta, I do want to talk more about Gosain because he did all this damage with Law, like you're saying. So how does he actually maneuver this character to make it work? Like he's, he's been playing Law for quite some time. And obviously Law is, Law is not really strong with his pressure. So you have to really be a little, a little patient or a little wild. And we saw Gosain go wild on these fools. Like wild, dude. He's got, he's hitting him from angles as if he was Manny Pacquiao in the prime of his life. It was ridiculous. I love, I love that reference so much. One other European player that had a lot of fan support was Super Akuma, oh, right? My dude, so my dude. See, yeah, you see him put together just a couple of his moves, obviously. So what did you see? How did it play out? Look, Super Akuma is playing Akuma. Now people yeah. are starting to figure out Akuma. So he didn't do he like he didn't win like like the last like French major he did, but he he got fourth. He did really well. Yeah. And uh, one of the amazing things that we see him do is still maintain that awesome punish game he has, that awesome mm. pressure with Akuma. And uh, hey, hey, like I said, the U, the European Union, that EU region, does not get enough recognition. Ooh. They got so much strong players yeah. there. They got the coolest commentators there. I love the accents. I love the way they play. And I wish more people play, paid attention to them. OK, so what do we do to correct this? Like, what is the EU scene looking like? And, and maybe is it because the players need to step up, or we're just not paying enough attention? The EU. We're just not paying enough attention. Uh. It's not even that they have to step up. They are stepping up. Uh. They are coming to the play, and they are hitting home runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, feels. But the thing is, like, even when you and I covered a lot of Street Fighter together, like, there were so many EU players. Yeah, they're, and they're winning. They're doing great. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. Dang it, Drew. Yeah, we don't put enough we're... attention. We always focus on America. Or Japan. Or Japan. Right, yeah. Right? But we forgot about our European homies who are doing work, who are cooking people in all these other regions. MFers act like they forgot about EU. Absolutely. I don't want that to be here anymore. No. We're gonna, we're gonna change it, we're gonna fix that, okay? Yeah, UK ground, represent. Yeah, absolutely. Another thing, another gender that needs more representation, obviously, is the ladies. And we saw, <laughs> we saw a 16-year-old girl, okay, named Pit Viper. Oh. Just absolutely destroy. So I would like to talk right now about maybe this big FGC resurgence of maybe women because uh, she's going to CEO as a result of what she just did. You know what, Marissa? There's no resurgence for women in the FGC. There's always been a lot of women in the mm. FGC, mm. right? Just as they, they don't get a lot of highlights, they don't get a lot of spotlights, especially if they're good. Like Marine's really good at Street yeah. Fighter, yeah. but people like people still talk about her. But like Pit Viper won a tournament. Yeah. In Tekken. Yeah. Yeah. With a low tier character, the Bunny Rabbit Girl Chloe. Like, and she's ridiculous. And the one thing I love is that not only is she a girl representing all the females yeah, out yeah. there, shout out to my ladies and my mm. sister uh, and my niece, uh, the, the crazy thing too is she's young, she's new blood, yeah. right? And I love seeing that because the FGC is known for being old. Like, mm. I'm like mid-20s and people think I'm young. 
That's not true. Esports is like 20 years old, 20, 19 years old. It's so yeah, I love, I'm like a grandma. Yeah, so I love seeing like new talent come in because that's mm -hmm. what the FGC kind of needs right now. Yeah. Young people uh, with energy just coming in there, doing my work and yeah. taking the heads off these OGs. I don't want them to take heads off OGs. Like I want the OGs to still have their heads on, but I'm really excited that young people are coming in and showing us what up. It just makes me feel really bad about myself. No, you fine. <laughs> you fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It. I'm not getting old. Okay, Drew, I probably don't need to ask you this because, I mean, it's pretty obvious. But um, let's hype it up anyway. Who is your player of the week? I don't even need a drum for this one. <laughs> it's, it is Axe, baby. Axe is the best. Axe is the best player of the week. Probably my player of the year. I don't care what anybody said. That dude won with Pikachu. That character sucks. But Axe doesn't suck. Axe is amazing. <laughs> Yo, Pikachu doesn't suck. Yeah, he's mid-tier, but that sucks when there's like a uh, cemented top three characters of all time. Okay, yeah, that's fair. True. I mean, I love how you waited for the drum roll, even though you said I don't need a drum roll, and then you like literally waited for a drum roll to come in, and then you unleashed. But yo, you're right. Like, Axe completely impressed. He impressed. You know, I feel like he not only impressed the audience, um, but he impressed himself. Like, yeah. you could see, the, like, tears he's of a joy. He is the winner. He's a winner. And he's so deserving of that. Yeah. He's not second yeah. place no more. No more second place at Gamble. No more second place at Genesis. Mm. He's a champion. Mm. He's the best right now. He, I mean, he's the best right now. And I and just forever like in my heart. If forever in your heart, if forever in our hearts, because he really is just like the best dude ever. Like yeah, we met him a few nice times. Dude. So nice, nice dude such ever. a great representation of the FGC just Absolutely. in general. Absolutely. Uh, I'm just happy for the melee community. I wish that like the melee scene got more love from Nintendo as a result of this, especially because like I know you're like hands off that, but listen, like it it's true. They need they need a lot more love, and especially when we have amazing representers like Axe, the wholesome character that he is too. I feel like he's just a great. He's a great boy. He's yeah, a great kid. He's a great, he's a great role great, model. Great That's role the best model. part. He's a great role model. For everyone out there, yeah. everyone playing. You want to get into Melee? Get into Melee now because of Axe. He probably brought in so many kids too. Like what he did was like the equivalent of David versus Goliath, mm, right? Mm. He he just he just managed to find a way to yeah. beat the meta of the game with yeah. his with his tried and true Pikachu. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. super hard to do. And that, oh. not only that, he's a great guy. I know, I just, we could talk about Axe obviously all, all day. day. All day, all night, but we gotta get going, so that's all we got for today. Tomorrow, we've got more Dota action, and Tsunami will be calling in to break it all down. Until then, go over to our socials at Squad State, and we'll see you lovely people tomorrow. <laughs>